Okay, we are back. We are at the Hokkaido. Well, we're entering into the Hokkaido Shrine. Here there are many different smaller shrines. As you can see here, it's listing the 10 different shrines that are here. We have a small map. Now, those pink symbols are sakura trees. It's not sakura season right now, so we won't be able to see any. Well, we might be able to catch a few. Oh, but it's not in season. So this is one of the shrine houses. So this would be where either one of the priests or the shrine maidens would live. So here is one of the shrines. Again, we're going to be very careful not to disturb others. So you can see the shrine gate. And this is what the shrine looks like. So here on the honor system, you can buy different supplies for the shrine. Uh, things like little paper fortunes and things like that. Let's take a look. So there is a lot of writing, a lot of graffiti here. So you can buy these small wishes, it's good luck. And it's just, it's all based on the honor system. You put your yen in the box. And then these, this is for paper fortunes. So you can open these and you end up tying it uh, to these strings and make your wish. And we won't go all the way in because we are not making a wish today. Perhaps I will later, uh, but not on video because I think that's a little bit disrespectful. Here's some history about the shrine. So, moving on, we have another one of the houses for the groundskeepers, the maintenance, possibly the priests or the shrine maidens. This one looks a lot more modern. As you can see, there's a car, <laughs> which always makes me laugh in comparison to the scenery. Like, everything looks so old school and classic. Oh, take a look at this tree. This reminds me of Inuyasha. This tree's name is Kasiwa. But yeah, I guess, you know, even shrine maidens need a way to get around. A car is a good way to do that. Here we have a smaller shrine. There's nobody around in this area right now, so we're gonna take a little bit of a closer look. Even the smaller shrines are honored in their own ways. Different shrines <laughs> a lot of children screaming over there. It's unusual to hear loud noises in the shrine area. But every shrine has its own sort of guardians uh, that people believe are protecting them. So, here's another one of said shrine. You can see the box in the middle there with the slot. That is for inserting money. So when you do make a wish, you put your money in the box and then step back, clap your hands, bow your head, uh, and make your wish. And it could be as small as, you know, one or five yen. It doesn't have to be an extravagant amount of money to make a wish. I think it ties a lot into the idea that, you know, the spirits, the guardians of the shrine, they appreciate what we can give. So if for someone 100 yen is a lot, then that's what they give. And I think that's beautiful. I've located the source of the screaming. Someone's getting attacked by a crow. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. You see that crow in the middle of the path there? It's attacking people. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's so scary. Oh no. Fascinating that we're getting this here on camera. Oh my goodness. 
This is bad. I feel bad for laughing. We shouldn't be laughing. <gasps> I'm scared to go over there now. Everybody's scared to go over there. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it. Everyone wants to go that way. <laughs> but nobody wants to- Oh, the crow's back. <gasps> scary, scary, scary. <gasps> Look at him! Look at him! <gasps> oh my goodness. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Oh no. Oh no. So scary. Where did the crow go? Oh, okay. I think he's gone up in the tree. <laughs> We're gonna take this chance to uh oi, oi, oi. Oh. We're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Oh, my heart is beating so fast. You know, none of my friends back home believe me when I talk about these killer crows. <laughs> I'm so happy I got this on camera. Now I have proof. Oi, 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 oi. Where? Oh my god. Oh, oh no, it's attacking the high school students. <gasps> it is. <laughs> we should not laugh. We should not laugh because if it was us. Ah, uh, there's the source of the sound. Yeah, are they, are they And oi! The crow is back. The crow is back. Everyone's... Oh my god. Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna run. <laughs> we're gonna jog away. Oh my god. It's still chasing people. It's still chasing people. Cripes. Cripes on a cracker. <gasps> oh my god. You see him? You see him in the distance? What an evil, evil little man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, so you can see all the cherry blossom. Oh, there's not many stuck to the tree anymore. Oh, but they're scattered. Beautiful. See, even past their prime, I really think there's beauty in so many things. Oh, I gotta catch my breath. That was scary. <laughs> That was really scary. <laughs> I mean, the beak on jungle crows is so long. If that thing wanted to hurt you, it definitely could. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So scary. All right. We were brave today. <laughs> we survived the crow attack of 2021. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I still hear the screaming behind me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you gotta love the, va the valiant man that tried to punch at the crow just now. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I am very excited to show everyone that video from back home. Now they have to believe me. <laughs> Okay, I see a little shack up ahead. It seems to be selling ice cream. It's not the ideal lunch. Hmm. If they had a sandwich, I would want a sandwich. We'll see what it's about. Uh, yep. Oh, there goes another crow. Pigeon. Hello, pigeon. Pigeons don't hurt people. I hope. Oh, yeah. It seems to be just ice cream. But let's take a look. 
Oh, baby just got like a baptism. You see the red? It's so, so cute. Oh, new baby. So a lot of the time at this shrine, uh, the biggest shrine of them all, which we'll see at the end, um, many types of things like marriage ceremonies or even a death ceremony or honoring a new child, a new baby that was born, uh, this is one of the most popular places to do it since it is the most well-renowned shrine in the area. So that's exciting, we got to see a new baby. This sign is basically telling us to wait our turn. Please be patient. And that's important too. You don't want to just walk by people who are making a wish or making an offering and get in their way. It's very rude. So in here, we have a water spout. Uh, so we need to purify and clean our hands before going into the shrine. You also are supposed to take some water, put it into your mouth, and kind of swish it around and then spit it out. And this purifies your mouth as well. We have a very interesting ceremony. Now, what's especially interesting is usually uh, these water platforms have like ladles and these ladles are what you're supposed to do pick up the water put it on one hand transfer the ladle to the other hand purify the other hand but because of corona they don't want everyone touching the same label la ladle uh, so they installed these bamboo water spouts which i think is really ingenuitous is that a word it's ingenious in any case okay so here's some instructions. So that's how you would traditionally purify your hands and mouth. So the shrine is up ahead. Huge, it's beautiful. The sky looks very ominous in front of the shrine. <sighs> Excellent. The path leading up to this shrine is also beautiful. It's extremely long. Usually you can see children running up and down the path. And we have more areas the shrine, which different types of ceremonies are often held. Gorgeous. Uh, here there are ten different shrines. <laughs> the car is coming, we were warned. It's rare for cars to be here. They must be a part of some special ceremony. I did get nervous. I thought the security guard over there was yelling at me. <laughs> it's always good to be extra cautious in places like this. Especially as a foreigner. You really need to be careful about how others see you because foreigners do stand out so much in Japan. You need to be extra careful about not breaking any social, social rules. You really need to be aware uh, such as the hand cleansing. Yes, you are supposed to put water in your mouth and purify your mouth, uh, but you're not supposed to, like, put the label, ladle, I keep saying label, ladle straight up to your mouth. It's considered very, very rude, very taboo. So I do want to enter the main shrine. I'm going to purify my hands. We're not going to take a video of the purification. Uh, just because it seems a little bit rude. So I will be back in just a minute.